In turn, just look at them. Look at these adorable little ones. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They don't move around very much, but they seem very content to stay next to their, their little insect eating area and next to their chameleon tree. But otherwise, they just kind of relax right here. And that's just fine by me because the guests can actually see them, which is very important. But I was thinking in turn. Hello, young sir. Welcome to the zoo. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you enjoy your stay. Please make sure you learn a lot about the animals while you're here. And that's what I was thinking in turn. Look at this gentleman, for example. Sir, so what do you think of our animals? Educational! That's exactly what we want! And that's what I think we're going to do right in inside of our little reptile exhibit here. Ooh, hey, wow, he just walked by and dropped in a $60 donation! Nice! Nice! That makes me very happy. But I think we're going to make this area a little bit more educational for our guests by adding in an educator! And also something for them to drink. I think a nice little drink stand will do uh, do everyone quite well, since everyone seems to fuss about getting drinks quite a bit. And the other one is all the way over here by the rabbits. And if you want to take your time inside of our little reptile house, then you don't want to have to go all the way out by the rabbits. That's just that's just too far away. So I think we'll put in a couple food and drink stands right here, an educator perched probably right here, and then. If we can manage it, a bench or two scattered about. Uh, maybe, maybe, yes, yes, maybe we could use this. Ooh, Flutter just gave birth. Wonderful. Oh, we're getting so many camels and horses. It's quite exciting. The rabbits are really hungry. Are you stuck somewhere? Are you okay? Let me pick you up. I'm going to move you down here, okay? That should help. Sometimes the little baby bunnies get stuck in a funny place. All right, so then we're going to come over here. And let's add in those little eating places, first of all, just so that our guests have something to eat. And whoops, what's going on here? The magazine ZooFan Quarterly is prepared to release an article about successful do zoo tours called Hit the Road for a future issue. If you can raise 1,000 in donations from a Jeep vehicle tour within the next two months, ZooFan Quarterly will describe your accomplishment in their next issue. If you succeed, the good publicity will attract extra guests to your zoo and increase your zoo fame. If you fail, though, attendance at your zoo will decline slightly. I think we can do it. I think we can, because people seem to enjoy our zoo exhibit quite a bit, our little tours. There are people on the Jeep tours uh, quite often, so I think we'll be all right. Ooh, and yeah, she's pregnant, so that's always a good sign. But all right, so we're gonna get a nice little drink stand put in here, right there. And now let's go grab a nice little eatery. Another little salad bar place, even though we have the egg dangered egg salad right here. Hmm. Hmm. You know, that's not too bad a walk. Actually, I think we'll be okay just with the drink stand and another dessert cart. And I'm thinking fruit cup. Fruit cup to go with our little reptile house. All right, let's see. Where's our fruit cups? Do -do 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 -do. Ba -dun -dun -dun. Fruit cup, fruit cup, fruit cup. Oh, it might be a good idea to potentially add in another one of those restrooms pretty soon, too. They always turn out to be quite useful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe instead of an educator. Yes, a discovery kiosk. That's fantastic. That makes me quite happy. People can stop and look at the discovery kiosk as they sit around here. Good, good. All right, let's see. No, no, no. We don't want that. We want fruit cups. There's the fruit cups. Oh, why did I lose a star? Oh, it's so hard to keep a hold of those stars. I'm telling you, intern. All right, now let's grab a little trash can. Where are our trash cans? Because we need to make sure we stay on top of that. Oh, we got quite the line piling up. Goodness, people are very thirsty. I guess it's a good thing we're adding this in. And then let's see if we can get a little place for them to sit. Maybe over by where the kids are playing? I don't want to block the kids. So we'll just put one right here. And then maybe we can tuck another one kind of back here. So if people want to come and just sit down. Huh, is there a way to... I wonder if they could get in that way. We'll put it there and see if they do anything. Sometimes the guests are funny creatures. But I think that'll be okay. Alright, where's our jungle pathway? There's our jungle pathway. Want this one. Put that there. That's good. The bunnies seem to be doing okay. Yep, the guests are finding their way right over here. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll put that under here just to make sure they can get around. Good, good. Can you, can you sit at the table? 
Wow, this is a really popular little spot for just getting a little drink. My goodness, I didn't expect that kind of reaction just from putting a little drink stand in. I guess it's a good thing we did. All right, well, let's get a little, little trash can tucked over here so people don't get any funny ideas about throwing their trash on the ground. And then we can start in with adding a nice little, a nice little frog exhibit because that's what's up next. We're gonna add in a green tree frog exhibit. I'm very excited about this. Green tree frogs are one of my favorite reptiles. Well, amphibians. They fall under reptile classification when you're being like really broad, but that's totally wrong. They are indeed, like they're in the reptile section of stores. So I was thinking back to when I worked in a little store selling reptile supplies and the amphibian supplies does fall under reptile category when you're doing retail, but they are not reptiles. They are amphibians. Where's my little amphibian? Come here, your adorable tree frog. There's so many varieties of tree frog too. That's one of the things that really amazes me. One of my favorite is actually the strawberry variety. Ooh, the Javian rhino. We need to add a few of those to this zoo too. This zoo zone. All right. Ooh, and actually, hmm, the par would be nice. All right, hey, hey. Where's my frogs? Frogs, frogs, no. Not here, those are jellyfish. Quite nice, but not what we're looking for. We're looking for, aha, there you are, my friend. Good tree frog. We're gonna add quite a few of the little ones in here, so I'm very excited about that. All right, tropical rainforest, if you don't mind. There's that. We're gonna add in a little bit of dirt, a little spot of dirt. Whoop, yay! And we've been running this particular zone for over a year now, intern. Can you believe that? Man, so much has happened. I am so proud of you. You've been putting in so much work, helping me alongside every day, coming in. I know it's not much of a, not much. Hmm, tropical tree floor. Hang on one second, enter. Tropical tree floor. Ah, there we go. Just a few, just a few, just a few patches. There we go. See, I'm good. I'm good. That's all. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, good. Panther chameleon one is really thirsty. Hmm. You know, I wonder if those stones are causing problems. So let's take out those stones, actually. Because we do have their little specialized drink container. They need to be able to get to it, though. Can you move? Hey, my little friend. Can you get to your water? It's right there. Standing. Just thinking about it. Do you need me to add in like a teeny little itty bitty little spot of water? Will that make it better? Hmm. Hmm. Really thirsty still. Doesn't want to have anything to do with that water stand. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we'll get rid of the water stand and we'll do that. Oops, Daisy. Well, that was a little dramatic. We'll do that instead. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, we'll fix that later in turn. Don't worry about it. We will fix it later. Let's just shrink this down a little bit and then just casually... Yeah. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. See, you're okay. You've got water right in front of you now, my buddy. Really thirsty. Growling in anger because you're thirsty. Hmm. Standing. They're still not messing with it. I wonder if we can get in here with just a normal little... A normal... Hang on. Hang on, guys. Whoa! Hang on. I'm trying. Wait for me. Alright, so let's try putting the water thing right there. Is that gonna do anything? Ooh, that did something. That's better. Much better. I think we have much happier panther chameleons now. Chameleons can be a little bit fussy to take care of. I say this from experience. All right, now we get back to work. We're gonna add in our green tree frog. Looking beautiful as usual. All right, and the frogs, let's see. Mm hmm I can't read German, so. <laughs> you know, I actually did take German in, in school too, but I do much better with the Asian languages. I don't do so well with uh, 
any language that has the same characters as English because it confuses me too much. But I do very, very well. Oh, yay! And Red Panda 1 is now pregnant! I do very well with languages that have characters that look nothing like the English language that is my native tongue. Very interesting little random factoid, but it's true. Alright, so Chameleon Tree. I would love to add in a Misty Spring, but we're tight on space. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's why. I wonder if we can put in a Misty Spring. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna move those insects. Because that would be a perfect, beautiful way to keep this area hydrated. Keep these little guys happy. I need a little tropical rainforest ground right here. I'm gonna come in here. A little more. Oh, and there we go! Oh, that looks great! I'm really happy with how this is turning out now. Let's see a little lookout post. We don't need a lookout post for these little guys. It's okay. I'll put in a chameleon tree just in case they want it, though. Alright, we're gonna try to keep light on the plants. I know I say that sometimes, and then we do the complete opposite, but I mean it this time. See, I'm just gonna put in, like, hmm, one big palm tree. And then one little palm tree, two little palm tree, and then one more big palm tree. Not that big. Kind of back here. Can I fit it in? Oh, there we go. There we go. Not the sago palm. Any other little guys? Like these little palm trees to fill in the corners a bit. There. Fill in that corner a little bit with this guy. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's make sure. Yeah. Got their little insects. Exactly what they want. A little food dish with worms. See, we'll even tuck a little food dish with worms. Kind of hide it back there for them. And a little bit of plants. Ooh, the orangutan number five is now pregnant. There's lots and lots of stuff going on. Now we need to add some bromeliads for sure. Where are my bromeliads? Because that is how these guys reproduce. That is definitely our beautiful bird of paradise. I'll put a couple of those in. But we need bromeliads, not swamp lilies. Bromeliads, let's see. Not here, I'm pretty sure they're like right here. Not you, not you. Ah, there we go, that's more than like it. We need tons of these guys. Because that's how some of the tree frog species reproduce, is they take over a bromeliad. And they wait until all the water goes into the bromeliad leaves, and then they put their little tadpoles in there. Some species put all of their little eggs, which grow into the little tadpoles, in one bromeliad, and others put them in multiple bromeliads. Some species are done after they lay their eggs and they move on. Other species, uh, the male or the female, uh, depending on the species, will actually visit constantly to the bromeliads where the eggs have been laid, and they'll bring food. They will bring food for their young, which is absolutely fascinating to me. I love these little guys. All right, is there a low, a low hanging vine that we can add in? Maybe, perhaps, not happening. This one, there we go. We can put a few of these in. Ooh, and Princess is pregnant again. Oh, our orangutan society is gonna be so happy to hear about that. Cause Princess is clearly doing quite well and thriving under our care. All right, then one there. There we go, oh, beautiful, beautiful. And the rabbits are pregnant again. Breeding like rabbits, we can probably start releasing some of their young back out into the wild. Very important for critically endangered species such as that. Alright. One, two, three. Cutie cuties. Hi, little ones. How are you? Oh, you're so cute. One, two, three. Cutie patooties. Oh, yeah, and then we need to add in a gate. I forgot a gate again. So bad about that. Alright, and gate right there. Alright, and let's go in and check them out! Are you guys enjoying our panthers? Why is our panther sick? Oh no! Okay, we'll have to get in there and see if we can spruce up our panther exhibit. Panthers are so hard to take care of. Clean the poop, tend to them. You guys doing a little better? They don't want to move around their exhibit very much. Let's take out some of the, the foliage and see if that helps. Mm, we'll take that big palm tree out. I dislike how empty it looks now, but maybe it'll make them a little bit, a little bit happier. Let's see if we can give her her little medicine. No? Okay. They seem happier. I think they just wanted less stuff in their exhibit. That's okay, guys. I can live with it. Even though it's less plants, the important thing is that you're healthy and doing well. There we go. 
Whoops. Well, hey, we're in with the, the green tree frogs. We were headed here anyway. Scrubbing all of them, making sure they're doing good. Now, you always want to be careful about what you have on your hands when you handle these guys. Their skin is basically their immune system. So if you've got about a bunch of junk or like lotion and stuff on your hands, you can make them really sick. You don't want to do that because we love our little tree frogs. What's up, guys? Oh, man, you guys are so cute. You guys are so cute. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Look at his little mouth open. <gasps> That's like the cutest thing in the world. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. There you go. There you go, little tree frogs. Oh, they're so cute. And I love how they've got this beautiful backdrop and everything. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to be quite happy. Very good. Whoopsie daisy. All right, I'm done, intern. I'm done. It's just very exciting. It's so exciting when you've got your new animals and they're so happy and their new exhibit. Oh, good. And they feel like they've got some places to hide. Good, good. I think we're doing very well. All right, let's pop out. The guests seem pretty happy too. Let's see if we can get them somewhere to sit for benches over here. Hmm. All right, let's see. This might be a little trickier because we don't want to block anyone's view, but we do want people to be able to relax. All right, so maybe over here, the bench. Yeah, we'll put a bench over there, put a bench over here, and put a bench over here, over here. There we go. All right, good. And then maybe if we can put another, oh, people are so excited about the frogs. I'm excited about the frogs too. Oh, and here come our entertainers. Coming along to make sure everyone's really excited about the frogs. We're celebrating, celebrating the new additions to the zoo. Everyone's celebrating. Oh yeah. We've got break dancing. Oh, did you hear the frogs ribbit? I love it. I love it. The frogs are croaking. Everyone's very excited about the new exhibit. Oh, it's doing good. Oh. Always warms my heart to see when our zoo is taking off and when the people are just so happy. And hopefully, we'll have some people using this discovery kiosk. They're really useful, you guys. Oh, wow, we have at least 30 mandarin ducks. That is just getting to be so many mandarin ducks. That's amazing. All right, how's this doing? Gift shop's doing all right. We haven't had a single lifetime user of this discovery kiosk either. That's interesting. Everyone's just turning their noses up at them. Well, we won't worry about that then. Whew. All right, intern. We're almost done with the reptile house, so we will start finishing that up. And then we'll have to see where we go from there. I'm thinking maybe back to the safari zone. But we might also start poking around at another island area, another island zone. So we'll have to see what we get up to next time. I'll see you tomorrow, intern, okay? Have a great day.